Maribia, it's so good to be back here, Alex. It's so wonderful to smell the ocean on the breeze. It's wonderful just to see you smiling again. You're not too tired, are you, Luna? I'd forgotten how long the journey was. Tired, no. Hungry, yes. Get me and my hollow tummy to the nearest fish market. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm glad you have your priorities straight, no. And everyone's laughing. <laughs> Why are you guys all laughing? I can hear all of your stomachs rumbling, too. We're not just laughing at your endless appetite, furball. We're laughing because it feels good. Exactly. It's been so long since I've felt this joyful. Yes, that's the word. Joyful. I don't mean to be rude, but I have to run to the mansion. When we killed Zenobia, we broke the spell she placed on Dad. I can't wait to see him. And, uh, I think I'll be running off myself. And just where do you think you're going, brigand boy? Uh, uh, wherever you're going, love muffin. Are you up to something, Kyle? Sure you are. But I don't have time to figure out what it is. Come on, hurry up. Hold on, wait a second. At least let me comb my hair before Mel sees me. Come visit me after you had some rest, you guys. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. Drag, 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 drag. Oh, I love those two. My mother is waiting for Nash and me on Bleak Roads on Black Rose Street. I'm going to tell her all about what that's happened, and hopefully use that info as we discuss how to reconstruct the magic guild. Reconstruct the guild and rebuild Vane? That would be wonderful, Mia. It will be wonderful, Nash. Buildings can always be rebuilt and replaced over time. Humans live far... Human lives are far more precious. You're right, Mia. As always. Let's hurry. Mother's waiting. Alex, Luna, and Nal, come see us before we leave, alright? She's right. As always. Don't go before saying goodbye. Uh, Mia, I'm sure your mother won't be offended if we don't run to Black Rose Street. Oh, Nash. What are we going to go do? Just go see Ramus? Hey Alex, why don't we go and see Ramus? I bet his business is booming. That's a wonderful idea, Nal. I haven't seen him for such a long time. Well then, let's stop talking and start walking. Alright guys, this is what we're going to call it. Uh, we did it. We beat the game. Uh, there's just a few things to wrap up now. We'll do that in a wrap up video. Uh, but thanks all for watching. It has been a massive hoot. Um, it feels good to have a second... Uh, um, LP under my belt. Uh, thanks for everyone that has encouraged me uh, as we've gone on, and when everyone that's commented and dialogued with me on in terms of comments on YouTube as well as my Facebook page. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe if you've not, and uh, join me on the next journey that we have. Thanks all for watching, and I will uh, I'll see you in the wrap up. But this is essentially goodbye. Take care, everybody. Well, my friends, it is time for us to completely finish Lunar Silver Star Story. Uh, we beat Galleon. We pretty much beat the game. We just have to, you know, do some finishing some finishing things, uh, some final touches. So let's go over to, uh, I believe it's called Black Rose Street, and see what Nash and Mia are up to. Uh, see what the guild is going to be doing. And uh, sad to see this game end, but, you know... Um, it's good to be done too. Oh, look at those items. Look at. Really? That she had that the whole time? The flame ring? Ah, that's insulting that they didn't give it to us. Really messed up. <clears throat> Mother! Majesty Lemia! I've always been proud of you, Mia, but never as proud as I am at this moment. You're always more of a. He You're more than a hero than I ever was, my daughter. As for you, Nash, I won't lie. You will have to work very hard to regain my trust. Mia speaks highly of you, and I know... And I how know... Okay, that's a bad typo. And I know how you care for her, so don't disappoint me again. Mother, I, I'm so happy. Oh, Mia, so am I. Mother, I promise I won't cry anymore when I'm worried or when I'm afraid. Now that I have so many things to take care of, I can't afford to be weak or show weakness. That's exactly right, Mia. That's how the new leader must be. What? Mother, what do you mean? Mia, it's obvious that my reign with Magic Guild is over. It was my leadership that led to the corruption of the Guild. It, is, it was your actions that saved it, and the world. 
Which person do you think would, has the trust and support of the people of Vane? I'm confident in you, Mia, and after all you've done, you should be confident as well. Nash, I expect you to support Mia and obey her commands. What she does not need at this crucial time is in the history of the guild is to be doubted. Yes, of course, Majesty Lemia. I will help Mia no matter what the circumstances. You would have... God, it's hard to read without a black background. I would help her even if doing so meant the destruction of my very soul. Yes, well... Nash... Mia, I know that I, I know that under your leadership, Vane will soar through the skies again, and the magic gear will be more magnificent than ever. Thank you, Nash. I love you. But what And you're right. With the help of Alex, Luna, Jessica, Kyle, and Null, all the people I love, we will create a magic guild that everyone can join. Promise me you'll work as hard as you can. Oh, of course, Mia. Of course I will. I'd do anything for you. No. Oh, let's talk to him. Alex, Luna, I hope you'll come back here soon. We need to talk about how to make our world into an even better place than before, and protect it from anyone who might try to do what Galleon tried. We have lots of time to discuss these issues, the time we created by saving the world. And Nash? I have to admit it, I was afraid for our lives more than once in our adventure, but my magic has become... Really, Nash? Much more powerful since we began, and I must and I much enjoyed being able to study your relationship with Luna. I hope you apply the lessons I learned to many I hope to apply the lessons I learned to my own relationship with Mia <clears throat> and to the reconstruction of the Magic Guild. And Lemia? Alex, Luna, and Nal, thank you so much for all you've done. You've saved our world and you've helped to awaken the strength within my daughter. Yep. Well, let's go see if uh Kyle and Jessica are doing as well with uh with Hell Mel as he has been called. Oh, it is good to be home. It is good to be back. I wanna say we already went and saw Rainless. That been wrong before. Oh well. Actually, this is an easy way to find out. Do I have the uh, bromide of Luna? I believe we've not gone to see Ramus then. Let's find out, and if we have, I'll just cut it out. But I started doing the recording, and then I stopped at one point because I just wasn't feeling it for the ending. So I'm not quite sure where I'm at. Luna, you look great! I knew you and Alex would be together again. Look at all the customers I have today, and I owe it all to you, Alex. Everyone wants to shop at the store where the mighty Dragon Master shops. Ha! Huh. Wow, I just can't get over how happy you two look. I hope I feel that strong about another person someday. I've been thinking about how this all began, Alex. If I hadn't convinced you to go on with me to the White Dragon Cave that day, Luna wouldn't have been kidnapped, and the world would have been at peace. Uh, I'm just kidding, Ramus. If you hadn't taken us to the cave, Alex would never have fulfilled his destiny. You're a trickster and all, but you're funny. Alex, I want to come with you... I wanted to come with you to Bird, but I'm too busy to get away from here yet. Please, tell my father and my, my nanny I say hello, and tell them I'm fine. Oh, hey, Alex, check this out. I got it just for you. Got Luna's bromide one. I owe you a lot, Alex, and I hope this is enough to repay you. <laughs> Alex, what are you and Ramus whispering to each other about? I bet you two are planning to go on another adventure without me. I can't believe you do something like this after all that happened. I'm sorry, Luna. Uh, or you could say no, we're not. Oh, Alex, I forgot how fun, how much fun it is to tease you. I need to work harder and make the store even more successful. I won't rest until I have all the money. All of the money? That's it? Okay. Let me talk to you. I don't believe it. When the customers found out that Ramus gave you stuff for free, they applied his actions. We've made up twice as much as profit than we'd lost from the items you took. Ramus is a genius. Is he? Green eyes, you're a hero, but you're still humble, and I find nothing more attractive than humility, and I find nothing less attractive than a half-dressed wench hitting on my man. I'm sorry, Alex, but you know how I get jealous. Wow. Okay. The book says he'll give us more, but I guess he won't. Maybe if I leave and come back? It says that I can get two other bromides for him, but it also says at that point you'll complete having all of them, so maybe since, unfortunately, we missed a few... Uh, we might not be able to get them all. Hoping that's not the case, since many are time sensitive, but we'll find out. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let's check out this one. Um, Precious Ponytail. La, 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 
That was a pretty one. That was a very sweet girl. Sad that we get to spend such little time with her, and all and and all the scheme of things, but the game kind of does revolve around saving her. Hey, that girl has a horn. Um, now let's go, now let's go see uh, Kyle and Jessica and see how they're doing with Mel. Okay, right up here. You should be in his office. Oh, there they are. Cool. Kyle, Jessica, what's up? You're going to meet with Master Mel. How wonderful. Well, it would be wonderful if Kyle wasn't being such a butthead about it. Huh, <laughs> butthead. He's too afraid of my dad to tell him how we feel about each other. Isn't that right, Kyle? Well, not exactly, Jess. It's just that... Yes? I feel weird intruding on such an emotional moment between you and your father. I don't want to be the cause of any weird vibes. Besides, you know Mel and I have never exactly been the best of friends. How do you think he's going to take the news that we're back together again? Oh, Kyle, you're just being silly. When I explain what a hero you've been, he'll welcome you with a hug and a smile. Or maybe a punch in the face. Now come on and hurry up. Hey, hey! And there she goes dragging him again. Yep. Jessica! Dad! Hug, 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 Oh, Jessica, my sweet, wonderful daughter. I'm so glad you're all right. I never thought I'd hold you in my arms again. Dad, oh, Dad, I missed you so much. What a wonderful moment, Alex. I'm glad we're here to see it. I'm glad we were able to help make it happen. My butler told me about everything that happened while I was out of action. I'm so proud of you, Jessica. My little grew up. My little girl grew up to be the savior of the world. Oh, Daddy, I didn't do it all by myself. Don't be modest, Jess. Alex could have done it without you. Huh? Is that you, Kyle? Ah, shit. Uh, you don't have to hide away from me, Kyle. Come here. Punch him. Punch him. Kyle, I know you love my daughter. And I know how happy you make her, so promise me you're always going to take care of her. What? Simultaneous, I, I promise, Dad. Don't you think it's a little early to call me that, Kyle? Why don't you stick to Mel until you're an honest woman out of my daughter? Make an honest woman. Oh, <laughs> of course. I don't want to admit it, but I always knew you and Jessica were meant to be. You were always the only boy who enjoyed it when she threw you into the mud. <laughs> Dad, you make it sound so dirty. I bet. Oh, that's a good one, sweetie. Oh, so, uh, you won't mind helping us pay for the ceremony, would you, Mel? Since I gave up stealing, I'm just about broke. Dude, we have thousands upon thousands of silver. Are we not splitting the loot? You're shameless, Kyle. How can I not love you? <laughs> I'm so happy for you two. Can I be your dragon of honor? Oh, I was like, why did you get all quiet with that? I won't lie to you, Alex. That was a pretty good adventure. <laughs> Luna, I know that Alex may not be strong or handsome like most, okay, by any standards, but there's no one in this world who cares about you more than he does, and he's a better man than I'll ever be. You two are meant to be together, Luna, so start having a wonderful life already. <laughs> and Jess, what do you say? I'm so happy for the two of you. It's wonderful to see the love you share. Have a safe trip back to Berg, and promise you'll come visit, Ka visit Kyle and I as soon as you can. We can talk about the old days, just like my dad. And Mel? Alex, you might not realize what you've accomplished, but rest assured, lad, that you're no longer a mere man. In the eyes of some, you have now become a god on earth. It won't be easy to deal with, lad, but I'm here to offer you advice if you need it. He was one of the four heroes, so he would know uh, what kind of, essentially, stress that can entail. And now we, uh... I believe we need to uh, try to leave Moribia. See what happens. Should run into somebody. Hello, Alex. Aw, it's Facia. Facia! Wow, I really thought you were toast. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy to see you. Many members of the Vile Tribe have survived, and we intend to find a place in this new world. We know it won't be easy, and we know that we have to earn the trust of Althena's children. But just as Althena had faith in her children to do what was right, so does the Vile Tribe. Facia? Alex is really good at just saying someone's name. It's like his thing. Where will you go, Facia? When will we see you again? We will seek out a part of the green earth which has never been explored. We will make it our home, and we will be reborn in the light of the goddess. Goodbye, Alex. Goodbye, Luna. 
Cause fuck you, no. Do you think the Vile Tribe will find happiness, Alex? What am I saying? Of course they will. You're right, Null. Everyone has a home in Althena's new world. It's almost our time, and it's almost time for us to return to our home together. That's right. We gotta get on the boat. I'm on a boat. Never thought I'd be on a boat. I'm not going there. Sorry, guys. I've done that before. <laughs> um, not the sea. I believe we have uh, one more person to uh, to see. One dragon master to another. Ah, oh, there he is. Hello, Lake or Dine. Lake! Oh, no, I'm Alex. You going back to Berg already? Uh, the book sets to say no a few times because we'll get different dialogue. I'm staying in Mervia. Perhaps you're a bit of a vagabond after all, Alex. Oh, I'll stay here and watch the sea for a while. You know what I love the most about that big mysterious Widowmaker, Alex? I know there's always a new adventure waiting for me on the other side. All right, and now we'll tell him we're going home. Okay, probably think about your family and friends every day, don't you? I had the same feeling when I started adventuring, lad. Perhaps you should return home and ease your mind. Going home. Dragon Master Dine? I... The man with that name died a long time ago, Alex. He died with the gods who was bidding he was born to obey. It should have been apostrophe. That was very confusing. From now on, our future will be shaped not by those with power or prestige, but by those with courage. You possess that courage, Alex. You always have. Thank you, Dine. Uh, he's not like being called Dine. I'm going on a journey, Alex. Again? And this will be a long one. Wait. This would be... This world is boundless, Alex. I'll never claim all of its treasures or learn all of its secrets. But I don't feel hopeless about it. I feel fortunate. Fortunate that I'm alive and able to explore a world with such endless adventure. Lake, what about Galleon? He perished for his beliefs. That's another way to live your life, Alex. But if there's one thing left to do, it's... No, this isn't the time to discuss that, Alex. Not yet. Well, what? What is? What? Bye! Bye, Felicia. All of us are on a journey into the future, yet all of us live in the present. Too many people get caught up in what could be instead of appreciating what is. Don't fall into that trap, Alex. Appreciate what you have and who you have. Because the future can take it all away from you. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. I often find myself going on tangents these days. Yet another symptom of old age, I suspect. Lake, I wish you luck, Alex. And you too, sweet Luna. Farewell. He was the first man to ever hold Luna as a baby. He must have a fondness of her like a father. Alex, I don't know why, but I have a feeling that we'll meet him again. You're right, Nal. I feel it too. Luna, let's go home. I was beginning to think you'd never ask. <sighs> okay, now the sadness is kicking in. I said in the last episode uh, that I didn't get as invested. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get a little sad. I'll hush so you guys can uh, see this outro. Mm -hmm.